Hi everyone, my name is Alina, I'm from Russia and this is my social project campaign within the application for Winter Korean Culture Camp organized by AYFN Academy. This video will be about cross-cultural interaction. This issue has been a topic of my academic research for many years. Since high school, I became interested in uh, the culture of Japan and Korea when I stumbled upon their TV shows. I was amazed at how geographically small countries turned out to be economically and technologically much more developed than many countries I'd heard about more often. Since that moment, I decided to know more about Asia and dedicated six years of university studies to Northeast Asian countries its cultural characteristics, politics and interactions in the region. I wanted to encourage people in Russia to know more about other nations as I had done. So I've published 12 scientific articles on related topics, volunteered at Asian Cultural Center and I've been among uh, organizers of several cultural events. So why am I trying so hard to promote cultural exchange? As you know, in today's world there are still a lot of conflicts based on cultural intolerance. During my studies, I wondered how to prevent them. Of course, there are a lot of political factors that civilian population cannot affect and influence much. However, lack of understanding between cultures, uh, distortion of information about nations can also be used to fuel conflicts, and that we can affect. In order to prevent negative impact of distorted information and stereotypes, people should make more efforts for international interactions. This can be done by cross-cultural workshops, uh, cultural sensitivity training, exchange programs and more. Basically, this is exactly what AYFN do within the association and beyond. Personally, I would like to contribute to this effort, at least at my local level, because uh, this agenda is relevant to my country as well. For example, the population of Russia still categorizes all Asian nations as one culture and adheres to stereotypes based on the image of China and Hollywood movies. At the same time, there are also a lot of stereotypes about Russia itself. Most people in the world think that there are only indifferent and rude people live in Russia and it is always freezing cold here, and of course it's not true. In this context, my goal is to read as many people as possible of stereotypes about each other within the knowledge and experience I have. It is uh, knowledge about Asia, uh, specifics of international interactions and event organization experience. In this framework, I want to contribute by organizing a large international festival of Asian cultures in Russia with the involvement of uh, participants from all over the world. Such an event should include traditional games, cultural exhibitions, team games and other team-building activities. However, I consider K-pop cover dance competition to be the one of the main tools for attracting participants. I'm sure that K-pop at the peak of its popularity could be the force that makes people from all over the world meet together in one place. I know this firsthand since I've been the leader of K-pop cover dance team for several years. Our team has participated and won in many competitions, so we are well on informed about the specifics of such events and understand their audience and have a great expertise to improve them. Based on all of the above, I'm sure that my team and I will prepare an event that will attract a lot of people from different countries to learn about other cultures and make them dispel stereotypes when they return home, at least within the, their small social cycle. I'm sure that the trip to Korea will inspire me with new ideas for the event and help me to make friends from other countries who may become festival participants in the future. Thank you very much for this opportunity and let's make the world better together. Bye-bye!